hello guys what's up welcome to another video tutorial and today we are going to integrate mailchimp with the ninja farm i know there is add-on available but it is not free so today we are going to create or uh, integrate the mailchimp with ninja farm and it is super simple without any penny you do not you do not need to pay anything this is just simple and really cool way to integrate mailchimp so let's get started um, create a new form so i'm in the ninja form dashboard and add new uh, let's click the contact us form it will bring us uh, the connect form fields okay we have the name email message and submit button field so we don't need the message field let's delete that and name field i'll change the label to first name and go to administration the field key name is set to app name or the first name you can set whatever you like but um, i'm going with the app name done uh, and clone this field or duplicate this field let's set it to last name and field key is set to L name next email and administration field key email and so we need another field for the mailchimp list id and this is going to be hidden field and just move it a little bit under the email and give it the label name list id and as administration field key is going to be list for id or you can set whatever you like but uh, I'm going go, going with the list ID done and publish this form uh, we need to set the default value for list ID so here we place the mailchimp list ID the, uh, the mailchimp list where you want to store the subscribers data that list id uh, if you log into your mailchimp and click the list uh, this is these are the list and i'm going to click with uh, this email uh, client's email list go to settings list name and defaults click settings list name and defaults this is the list id copy that and place it here done and publish the form okay that's it we are good to go with this form and this is our form short code so next uh, we move to some coding uh, that brings that data into mailchimp list so i highly recommend to use the child theme because uh, the custom coding is going to be in functions.php file and it's always recommended to use the child theme because uh, everyday new updates are available for themes and plugins and once you update the theme your customization will be gone so 
be careful guys always use child theme uh, this is our child theme files and uh, I'm going to add the code into functions to our PHP first we need to find the hook uh, which is triggered once a form is submitted and ninja form have a lot of development resources the you can find these inside the developer.ninjaform.com slash codex and the form processing hooks are available uh, submission processing hooks these are the three kinds of hooks available the field validation field processing and action processing okay we are going to use the after processing hook because the uh, validation that everything leave up to ninja forms and once the uh, the field values are submitted we can pass these values to mailchimp list so i'm going to copy this code this hook in functions.php file Ninja forms plus mailchimp is this hook and I'll change this function to MC ninja forms of the submission. Mm, okay, so once the form is submitted we need to grab the form field values so we need uh, for each loop to go through each field and get the value so we are used uh, for each loop for this purpose copy the form data and we need fields as single field okay next we do uh, we'll check condition if at main equal to field key this is a comparison uh, with the first uh, if the form field is the first name field we save the name or uh, first name equal to field value that's it we save in the first name variable as a field value and uh, let's copy this a couple of times this one is for the last name and next we have email And lastly, we have the list ID. Okay, that's it. And after that, we return the form data. Okay, at this point uh, we get the field values now we need these values to paste into the mailchimp so let's start at the mailchimp api connection for this purpose we need a couple of things first api key this is the mailchimp api account api key uh, 
then we need authentication or authorization and this is in base 64 in code and that is user column api key this is very important do not uh, put any space here otherwise it is not working next we need server Server is your MailChimp account where the your MailChimp account is hosted. And URL where we place this call. Actually, we also we need. We already have the list already. Okay, so uh, how do you find the API key? Uh, if you go to MailChimp, your dashboard account, and click the account, and under the extra, you can find the API keys. I am not going to show you my API key because you guys are super cool so you try to use my api key that's why i hide these things and place it separately so guys try your own api key don't hack anyone okay and url is https colon server dot api dot Mailchimp.com slash version and version is 3.4. Next, we use the list function. So, how do you find these URLs if you go to Mailchimp API developer.mailchimp.com documentation? The Mailchimp, and here are the API calls. Or documentation you can find the different uh, API documentation here at the moment we are going to add a member in this so under the list click members and we have a method or function for the adding new list members and this is the list slash or slash uh, list ID and for slash members. Um, the required fields are email address, status of the subscription, whether it is subscribed, unsubscribed, cleaned, or pending. So we choose one value from the status. Then merge fields, these are the extra. Uh, or individual fields uh, like first name last name and if you have any other fields you can place the value inside the merge fields here is the example request um, uh, using the c url or client url or curl so you can copy this url see this is the server you can find the server inside your mailchimp account uh, like i have us3.admin.mailchimp so us3 is the server name and 3.0 latest uh, api version then this this id and members okay so list then list id and then members this is the url 
and us3 is the server name and place the api key here too okay so these are the required fields and now we are going to make a or initiate a curl in it it will initiate the curl request or client url request then uh, we have couple of options for the curls so, so we use the curl set option function and curl handle option is curl url and we place the URL here then the curl option return transfer this is set to be true SSL verify pair I'll set it to false uh, because sometimes uh, we are not uh, activated we have not activated the SSL on server so we'll put it to false if you have the SSL activated you can set it to true Next option is the curl. Um, custom request, and it is going to be post request. Next, we choose the post fields and post fields are JSON data. We have not created yet, so let's create the, these fields data equal to array. email and status equal to subscribe uh, you can set it to pending if you want to confirm the user email um, so it's up to you yeah, i'm just going with the subscribe um, i already show you these settings here you can see this is the post request and status is the status email address and various other options are available in the api documentation so i i encourage you to look into different options and set according to your needs then merge fields uh, this is going to be an array uh, 
first name That's it. This is our data, and this data is needs to be converted into JSON data. So JSON data equal to use the JSON encode function to convert this data into JSON data and place the data variable inside. Next, we have the curl set option, and it's going to be the option HTTP header, and this is also going to be an array. Content type, uh, you can see we are already converted into array into the JSON data. So, content type I'm going to be uh, application underscore uh, forward slash JSON and authorization is going to be basic. Okay. So let's execute the curve request and curve underscore close close the curve request. Save this file and we are almost done. So let's double check everything is working and in good shape so we don't have any error. Yeah, we need to place the API key. I'm going to pause this video and place the API key here and then show you the final test so okay i added the api key and everything looks fine so let's just test this form and see how it is working uh, i'm going to copy this short code into the form uh, into the page where i want to show this form contact page and place it here this is the short code save and update the page view page and this is our form so just uh, so let's try to submit this form and I'm going to so this form name is Java and my email is jmail.com. Guys, this is just Jeremy email, so I'll try to spam and let's submit this data. Hit submit. Okay, form submitted successfully. So now it's time to check the MailChimp list. List and I set this the client emails list. Open this up and we have the new subscribed user. So you see how oh, it is easy. How oh, good. Um, 
i hope you really like this video and if you have any question don't hesitate to ask me you can uh, comment below and ask whatever you have any you have the question or anything or any request you want me to create the video uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe our channel it really help us to keep motivated and bring new videos for you um, guys the ninja form and various api connection is going to be a whole new series and it is really exciting i'm really excited to show you different integrations with ninja form um, if you have any request please let us know or if you have any question please comment below and we will try to answer your queries thank you very much and have a great weekend bye bye